Sustainability is a massive theme at the moment and eVTOL is a huge area within that and a company that knows quite a lot about eVTOL is Lilium and to tell us more I'm here with their CEO and co-founder Daniel Vegan. It's great to see you here. Tell us to start off with who are Lilium? Tell us a bit about the company. So Lilium is a startup. We're seven years old based in Munich in Germany. Uh, we're now listed with almost $1 billion of investment and we are developing the world's first entirely electric vertical takeoff and landing jet. And what we plan to do with these airplanes is to create a new means of high-speed transportation on a regional level. Because on the regional level, it's very often not enough density so you can build highways or high-speed rail or something like this, it's just too expensive. But with the efficiency of an airplane combined with this vertical takeoff and landing capability and emissions-free flight, we can create an entirely new solution to these problems. We talk about eVTOL, the E being the significant part, the electric part of it, and then you're talking jets. Now, uh, electricity and jet engines, it's a, it's a tough marriage, especially with lithium batteries, because they're very heavy. So how do you, how do you go about addressing that issue? So we had to solve a myriad of technical problems to make an electric jet work. Because as you said, batteries don't carry that much energy, so we had to create an incredibly efficient aircraft to get sufficient range with these uh, little energy in the batteries. And you have to make everything super light because batteries are already heavy and you still want to lift off vertically. So there's a huge amount of innovation that goes into these airplanes, but the benefit is also amazing. Today we have probably the hottest day in history of the UK and the question for us as a whole society is how many more of these days can we accept until we switch to a sustainable aviation and this technology that we are developing and using in this first vertical takeoff and landing jet here is also the fundament for any other electric regional aircraft be this an electric business jet or an electric commercial airliner the underlying technology and knowledge is the same which I think is key, isn't it? So it's all about lightweight, but also making something that is actually usable across multiple industries and also making it accessible to many, many people. So how far away are we from really having eVTOL as a reality as opposed to a, almost a, a concept in inverted commas? So this industry, the whole eVTOL industry, has exponentially picked up interest and therefore investment, and now it's becoming absolutely real. And we can see this here on the trade show. This is why we are here, because now we are moving from the engineering, innovation and design phase into actually industrializing these airplanes. So we're meeting a lot of suppliers here and the interest in electric aviation in general has skyrocketed if you compare to three, four years ago. So you're having a lot of conversations here at Farnborough. Have you found that the, the industry has moved along, maybe people's focus has moved along in the last few years, particularly as well with the heat we're experiencing in Farnborough, which is, as you say, record-breaking? We do see people moving towards sustainability much more than a couple of years ago. It needs even more than that, but I believe especially the regulators, especially here in Europe, um, have laid a very good foundation so we can actually bring these aircraft to the market and make it a reality. And we have to keep in mind it doesn't just need an aircraft certification, it needs pilot licenses, it needs clarity on infrastructure, on how we handle the operations. And this is where we're potentially making the biggest progress right now. Which is great to hear. So if you could gaze into your crystal ball then and predict the future, what's it going to look like in say 10 years time? I believe in 10 years from now, eVTOLs will be part of a normal aviation community and a normal operation. It will be in a very steep growth at that point in time, but we will also see huge amounts of spin-offs in terms of technology. So we will use that same technology that now was developed for eVTOLs in many other platforms. It's an exciting time. Daniel, thank you very much indeed for talking to us. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you.